Well, I'm eight weeks in to being a brand new cybersecurity professional. I'm really not a professional. There has been some things that I've learned along thy tenure. I, okay, I'm just joking. But really, in today's video, I wanted to talk about some lessons that you can see right here if you want to click off this video. Uh, some lessons learned throughout my first eight weeks as being a cybersecurity professional. All right, so before I start, there's a few things. Number one is this isn't going to be a comprehensive technical list of things that I'm doing right now. Number two, this has to be sort of general. Uh, of course, working in a field like cyber, you can't be going in and saying all this stuff, but yeah, you get it. So yeah, if you don't really want to do that, you can just click off the video. Totally get it. Now, a little bit more of background here on this position. So I am what they call an associate security engineer, and I work full-time remotely for a company. I'm going to break this down into three lessons. And really, this is a whole bunch of lessons. And there's so many that I could go on and on and rant on. But really, these are kind of the three core lessons or things that have stuck out to me within my last eight weeks. The first one is the organization. And what I mean by that is the different teams that I have been able to get to know and learn. Now, this has been a little harder working full-time remote. The bigger the organization you're in, the more teams there are and the more uh, you know things you got to understand and learn. This position that I'm in, there is a certain subsect of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is very broad. There is a lot of different areas that you can get into and I am under one specific area. You take that and apply that to cybersecurity across the whole and understand that there are many different security teams. Now, under these security teams, you have managers, you have the teammates, and you have to get to know what they do, who's responsible for what. Now, you apply this to technology or IT as a whole, not just in security, and things get 10x harder. So learning how to navigate this, especially being on a full-time remote, is an adjustment for me because you don't have 100% control over your entire environment. Different teams are responsible for those assets and you can't in a way have authority to do that. One of the ways that teams can come together is through a ticketing system. And if you have been in the IT help desk or you've maybe been in different positions before, you know that the IT ticketing system is probably something that you use extensively. This also has been something that I've been able to learn within my last eight weeks is how to navigate and learn the ticketing system. Learning the environment, the infrastructure that we are supposed to be owners of, it's been a little bit, um, well, it's just been a, it's been a complexity. Like I said before, different business units, different technology teams, I'm using broad terms here, but you get the point. They all are owners of different project ideas, different assets, systems, trying to figure out how that is run as a whole, uh, coming together as an organization or as a business has been, once again, a little uh, hard or an adjustment. As somebody who has been a student and who has been at university, my entire domain has been my home lab or even a small university network. So things aren't as you know hard or complex to understand. But when you get into a big business, it's a lot different. So understanding the infrastructure and the, what goes behind in terms of the tooling, the processes, the teams, and you know how the team or organization runs a particular asset has been uh, interesting to learn. The depth of my knowledge is been expanded upon because, like I just said, home lab, right? It's it's managed by you. You can create your own topology, you can build your own systems, but you try to 100x that and it's a little bit different. And number three has been communication. And this really, I guess you could say, has been more so on the remote side of things. But as a full-time remote employee, I feel like communication has changed and it's been an adjustment. Now, for me personally, I am very fortunate enough to have a team that is helpful and, uh, you know, is more than willing to go out of their way to answer questions. But learning and navigating through the online realm 
has been uh, interesting. For me personally, the biggest help has been taking extensive notes in terms of the teams and the tools and the processes and documenting everything has been huge because I can go back to the notes and figure out, you know, who to contact for a specific question. Those are the three main lessons, guys. I hope this has helped you today. Those are my three main lessons. Like I said, there's a tons of different lessons. I have a ton of learning ahead of me, of course, and I just decided to talk about some of the cultural, in addition to, I guess, technical issues that, you know, a new cybersecurity professional with really no experience is, has. And I think that it's going to be different for everyone. The point I'm trying to get across within this video, if you are still even here, is that you know, cybersecurity isn't fully a technical issue. Yes, it is technical, but when you come to the business side of things, you have business things. And I don't really sound very smart there, but there's a whole bunch of cultural dynamics that you have to consider in addition to just, you know, cybersecurity as a technical issue. That is it for today's video. I hope all is well. And yeah, I guess until the next one, have a good day.